If you like to downward dog on a paddleboard or ride your stationary bike in a pool or run a race with a bunch of zombies chasing you, that's cool. Get weird with your workout, just not with your protein. Organic Fuel from Organic Valley has 26 grams of organic protein and zero weird ingredients. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio in high fidelity. Yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. With PD Nature, I am your co-host, Orlando, and we have PD Nature to call in. He is at the Team of Fest, North Carolina, right now. Um, many time, great time in North Carolina. I believe he's now. So, what's up? What's up? What's up, brother? What's going on, my brother? Man, what's up? Shoot. I know you up there at the team thing. Yeah, we had the team of fest. Uh, we we just finished breaking down. I kind of figured it was going to uh, work out like that, where the time that it ended was around the time that uh, our show was on the air. I was trying to contact you a little earlier, but hey, uh, I'm just so excited because we haven't been on the air in a while, so <laughs> it's still it'll still be good. Yeah. I'm still definitely uh, uh, willing to uh, do our show. I'm ready. Let everybody oh, know about this. 
the experience. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Amen. Amen. And we started the show with songs. I don't know how old or how new it is. That you wrote name of it is called a uh, consecration. Uh, uh, one of my songs. Yeah, one of your joints. Oh, oh yeah, consecrated. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so. We started that off. I was doing everything, so I was like, "Let me go ahead and pop this on up." What's going on with it? But uh, yeah, man, it's been a while. Shoot, uh, how how did, how did everything go fast? Uh, it was a it was a uh, success, you know. Um, it's, it was the first year of the team of fest, you know, here in North here in uh, Lombard, North Carolina. Uh, you know, and you know how. I, any project uh, you're a part of or any project you're working on, you know, the first time around, you know, it might be a few kinks or whatever, but then you always go back and, and review, you know what I'm saying, your actions and everything that took place. And then, you know, you just make correction and move on for the next one to be better. So, I mean, overall, you know, the it, it was a good experience. Um, you know, uh, the cheesecakes did well. Um, we had the grill out today. We did some uh, jerk jerk chicken, jerk chicken on a stick, uh, jerk chicken breast on a stick, uh, jerk uh, uh, chicken legs. We did uh, some lemon pepper um, chicken as well. I didn't want to do too much food. I just kind of wanted to, you know, just kind of, I won't say put a teaser out there, but I was doing a test run on some of my uh, grill products that I was um have been working on over the years for as far as festivals are concerned. So uh, people liked it. It was it was real good. It was a, it was a good experience. All right. Amen. Well, what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and get into it, and then after that, I'm gonna pop on uh, some music, and then we'll be with uh, cooking with PD Nature. So uh, every heads, if you're driving, you know what to do. Deal is don't bow your head that all the time, and other shows say that, that all the time as well. We want y'all to be safe, but um, Heavenly Father, we just allowing us to see another glorious day, Father. Go through the trials and tribulations, it's allowing us to go through as well as the bad times because we, we know when we go through, they making us stronger within your word, Father. So, thank you, thing that you're doing for us. and and just uh, build it, build us within your spirit and build us up, up within your wisdom, I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. So uh, what I want to play right now is I play before. It's called Seek Jesus and by my nature. So y'all make sure y'all sit back, relax. Relax. Christ is the body, the Bible is my hobby. I pray on my knees for cats pumping in the lobby. This is a movement and only God can stop me. You can load your guns, but you still can't pop me. I carry my cross. Chef Cole cooks the sauce. My only concern is helping all my peers that's lost. Things ain't right, like men loving men or dykes. If you addicted to the crack, give Jesus a pipe. I speak the truth, so I don't need no excess hype. And a man never loses a fight in God's sight. Cause righteous laws are overdue. Yo, this is the message. It's speedy nature do at you when I'm through. For better 
black, so believe that it's not a racial stack, it's just a mental fact. Holy heat because the beast catch a feast. We slip like grease around bad company. Yo, observe, think and maintain before you feel the pain. You need to use more than 10% of your brain. Yo, you can't jam it till you told me who to Moses I am. Well, he's your lesson. Yahweh's the blessing for those who want peace and truth and salvation. Ask PD nature, here's my participation. Yo, and like a lot, I leave you vacant. Yo, I'm bringing fears to the ears of all my peers. Without blood, screaming in water, nothing wouldn't be here. Rise and reach your side, seek eternity. Yo, I ain't too dark, so I don't need to go. Blow, I'm not an addict, so I don't smoke rocks. So blow, but I ain't care you with all my stuff. And if we all see Jesus, we can rise to the top. Yo, I ain't too dark, so I don't need to go. Blow, I'm not an addict, so I don't smoke rocks. So blow, but I ain't care you with all my stuff. And if we all see Jesus, we can rise to the top. Yo, Scott Lucanio, this how we do. Y'all stop studios, PD Nature, read that dude, you did it again. Hold it down, baby, that's how we do. Yeah, check yourself, don't wreck yourself, you heard? Hey, uh, hey, uh, you know what? You heard that, man? What's up? You like that track right there? That was banging, man. That was the first. That was the first Christian hip hop song I ever recorded. That was the word. One, that was the. One. Yes, yes, sir. That's the one that set it off for me. Seek Jesus. Wow. Oh. Oh. Man, I'm so excited okay. to tell y'all. Got some things on the air, man. I know you got some have some questions for me, but uh, I just want to get rid of a little bit of this excitement, man. Like I had a, I don't know about anybody else on the team of friends, but I had a ball. I had a blast, man. I mean, uh, that was the first time in a long term that I performed uh, four songs back to back. I mean, my people, you know, they embraced it very well. They loved it. Um, like several people, uh, recorded my first song that I, I did on stage, which is God by me side. And I'm going to tell you what's magnificent to God be the glory, man. I woke up this morning and all of those videos was posted last night. They're not even 24 hours fresh on, on, on the net on Facebook. And I have over 600 views already. Wow. So, you know, I, 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 this was this, this this was the opportunity at the Team of Fest that really, you know, pushed Petey Nature up a couple notches with my fans and with the community and with the city of Lombard. And I'm just so thankful, man. You know, I, I'm getting friend requests left and right, you know, to God be the glory. And it's been amazing, man. My, my Facebook is turned up right now. <laughs> <laughs> So, man, I, I had a ball, you know. Hopefully the next one that um, that we do, you know, we'll have a mental impact kit set up, set up you know? Yeah. I mean, we, we're working on it. We're working on it. We got some things to get uh, cleared out the way. We got some missions to have and things of that nature. So we definitely we want to get out there and for for us, definitely. I feel you. Yep, and uh, I definitely want to give a couple shout outs because you know my people are starting to tune in more and more to the uh, to the Orlando Presents Networks. You know, not only just you know listening to my show, but listening to the other shows as well. Uh, also, that's available, and you know that's what I'm pushing. You know, that's just how I am. You know, that's the way you know God has my heart right now. Like. I'm I'm not just out here pushing PD Nature, you know what I'm saying? I'm pushing me, I'm pushing the network, I'm pushing Kid Got It, you know, I'm pushing, you know, cause, uh, you know uh, Gritty, you know, so it, it's a package deal. You roll with me, we roll together, you know, and, and I'm just so excited about every, everything that we got going on, you know. I'm telling people about Restore City, you know, so I love this. I do this, you know, I love this. So I, I do want to give a few shout outs to some people that's been working hard, you know, down this way to make this festival ha- happen. You know, 
I definitely want to shout out uh, uh, Mr. Rick Cotton for Cotlou Films. You know, he was, you know, he's a close brother, of, you know, around here in, in the Scotland County uh, area. And, you know, he did his thing. You know, he he really worked hard, you know, helping out with, with the vending coordinator and, uh, you know, transporting people back and forth from the airport because we had a few uh, um, important visitors. It was a pleasure to meet. I would like to say it was a pleasure to meet um, Queen uh, Queen Mother Moses. Uh, for those that don't know, she's the she's the Queen Mother of the Rastafarian Nation. Uh, she was very humble, very loving. Um, you know, she told me she loved cheesecake, and it was just a motion to just give her cheesecake. You know, you, you don't have to pay for this is for you. You love cheesecake. This is for you. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely. Hey, man. Also Amen, definitely. And I definitely want to give a shout out to um Akua Potter, um and also Terrence Williams and they're the leaders of uh they was the leaders of the uh Tima Festival as well. And um, you know, their uh, you know, Tima Fest was hosted by the African American Cultural Society of Scotland County. And um it's a non profit organization and I just want to give a, a shout out to them too, Akua Potter and um, Terrence Williams. Like they put in some hard work. Um, I, I want to thank them for allowing me to perform and allowing me to be a vendor coordinator and everything. I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm happy. This is a new era for me and my team. You know, uh, PDQs is coming soon on 15501. Uh, catering is about to start. You know, um, going crazy. Cheesecakes is already going crazy. Like every every week, we're adding another store to the roster and putting cheesecakes in in there. Um, I have a couple of um, tastings uh, and um, uh, meetings this week coming up where my cheesecakes are going to be in a couple more restaurants around here. So God is is, is truly truly blessing, and I'm so thankful. You know. Amen. So I just, I just wanted to get that out there. <laughs> oh, dude, it's all good, man. I definitely love the praise reports. I love when working, when people definitely allow God to work, move God to do his thing. So, amen to that, man. Keep it pushing. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> well, it's definitely. Tell the people about it. Um, Oh, you had some. What was that? No, no I was asking you. Had... Oh, no, I was just pretty much going to ask how was your week and everything, and, you know, how everything been. Oh, yeah, my week, man, my week's been excellent, man. I can't complain at all. Um, um, I was kind of early in the week because I dropped them. Broke my phone, one of those high expensive phones or anything, but it was to get to really like or whatever. And I was like, I believe I just dropped it, broke it, and I've never done that time. But, um, but uh, something better came along. A friend of mine uh, had a he wasn't using anymore, and he allowed, allowed me to have, uh, and it turned out that that he let me use was 10 times better that had more memory on it and everything. And so I'm sitting there like, saying, thank you, Father. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so definitely about that. And then, um, also like I put Facebook and on Instagram and stuff earlier today, out, um, gluten free to, um, Yandis gluten free uh, uh some veggie burgers and stuff. So I told you know, how that turned out, and I would go fairly well. I was very surprised. Uh, the bread kind of dry, or whatever, but um, how it is when it's gluten free, it really didn't have a nasty taste to it or a uh, pleasant taste to it for me I uh gluten free bread and then also I put some hummus 
hummus on it, some uh, hummus on it, and then also I chopped up a, a avocado and I put some avocados on there together. So it tastes pretty good. I was very pleased. Anybody out there that's trying to do the vegetarian lifestyle, you know, life around and everything, hey, you got to test it, get things out, and see what you think about it. So definitely just don't give up once you. You taste one thing. Oh, this isn't for me. So, so you got to test everything. Definitely, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying. Um, I'm, I'm at my. Uh, you know, I've made up in my mind that I'm, I'm gonna be a vegetarian, but I'm still cheating a little bit here and there, and I'm <laughs> kind of like, it's kind of like smoking. It's kind of like when you're trying to stop smoking. And it's like, well, I know I can't do cold turkey right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, let me tell you, I think I want to do this real quick. You know, I like being led by the spirit. I just want to kind of let people know, like, and when I do this, this is not about me. This is about the glory of God. But I just want people to see why Petey Nathan is the way that, that I am. So... I just pulled up in the yard, get ready, you know, my fellas is working, unloading the truck. And, you know, this is what I hear when I get out the truck. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And, and that's, just, that's just my dad sitting in the yard. So that's been all my life. Quartet music, good gospel music playing. That's that's what I just been around all my life, you know what I'm saying? So he did like I said a couple of times before, he didn't know he was planting a seed. He didn't know he was planting a seed. And if he knew it, he he ain't never you know that he know it or let anybody else know that he was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, hey man. Well I'll tell everybody and uh even PD doesn't know. Sometimes I like to, you know, before we took our little break, our little I like to give PD some surprises and everything. You know, it's still something that PD has to, to, you know, agree. This is just something I want to put out there in the air and let everybody hear it for themselves. And then, hey, you, you know, think about it, mull it over, whatever you need. I'm definitely offering you. Uh, uh, radio a uh, director of programming position with or network. So I know you got a lot of on your plate and everything that we would have to work out and everything, but uh, that's definitely um, being offered to you. Well, I'm going I'm to I'm tell you like this. Uh, I, I accept the offer in, in, in the name of Jesus, to God be the glory. Um, that's pretty much God answering my prayers uh, because I've always wanted to be in radio since I was young. You know what I'm saying? And um, you've heard me say that I will always want to be an owner or either just, you know, have a position in radio. So I'm honored, and I know, you know, we'll talk more in the details. But, yes, definitely, to God be the glory, I, I do accept. Man, there you go. That right, glory be to God. We have this uh, network going right now. Everybody that's listening, or people that's going to be listening in later archives, we have Orlando Presents Network, and then now started up also Orlando uh, Presents, which uh, will be airing different shows. They may bring this show over there every, every now and then, or whatever shows on that network. Um, playing different times of the day, things of that nature. So uh, moving, man. God is definitely moving, help, helping us out. We have live from Cincinnati. We have the cooking with PD next seven o'clock. Um, the Brian show with uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, will be coming back. Definitely, man. Um, we have a lot, a lot going on, and then we um, my man Gino. Which uh, like the um, the uh, Christian four one one type thing for 
indie artists. But we we have a lot lot of things going on, man. It's clear. That's my new motto right right there. The vision is I say exactly where God wants us me to go, what path he wants uh wants what I'm taking. No detour. Definitely, definitely. Amen. Amen. So what now is I'm gonna get into a couple of songs songs and then when we get back. So PD may have a may have a recipe for you. And we'll see what he we'll see what uh what uh PD has for us. Uh, <laughs> you know, today I know he's on everything back in order, so uh definitely we'll see what, what he has for us. Um Right now, I'm going to play the young lady, Ohio. Her name is Nikia Shante. I'm going to worship you. This joint is the banger. Y'all listen to me. Take my life and make me new. Me new. Me new. Lord, I always to you. I just want to worship.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back with Cooking with PD. You just got through listening to um, um, I just got Nakia Shante out of Cincinnati and my man Trey Abel. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Woo. So, uh, Mr. PD, you have any stuff for us? You got anything that uh, we could take home with us? Yeah, actually, I do. Um... I'm going to call this uh, Lemon Pepper It. <laughs> uh, you know, okay. uh, I, I have a, uh, I won't say, it's not a secret because I'm about to get it out, but I have a, a strategy of uh, using my lemon, uh, season, when, I use, when I season lemon pepper, whenever I flavor something lemon pepper, and you could do this for, uh, and I was thinking about you, when I thought about this as as the recipe of the day, because what I'm about to say, you can use it on chicken, beef, vegetables. But my main thing was, uh, I was thinking about vegetables. Um, so this is the same seasoning that I put on 
chicken, but you can put them on vegetables and put them on skewers and um, grill them off and have some great lemon pepper vegetable skewers. Um, pretty much, pretty much what you do is uh, the first thing you do, uh, soak your skewers for an hour, a couple hours. And that's for if you're going to use vegetables, chicken, or the chicken. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, rinse and wash your vegetables real good. Cut them up, drain them, sit them to the side. Take you a little bit of oil, uh, coconut oil. Uh, I, yeah, I'd rather use coconut oil. Um, so that way you're still following the health kick and uh, stick it to eating healthy. So you take... Uh, Oh, first what you do is you taste your lemon pepper seasoning because a lot of lemon peppers are different. Some are higher in sodium than others. Uh, the, one, the, one I use is, the one I use is, uh, by, is, is not that high in sodium, but uh, it has a little sodium in it. So my mix is garlic salt and uh, black pepper. So what you want to do, you want to, Take the coconut oil, the garlic salt, and black pepper and season your product first. Season your vegetables with that first. Mix it up good. Then sprinkle a little bit of uh, the lemon pepper and then mix it up again. And then put your uh, vegetables on a skewer. Then um, once you place your vegetables on a skewer, then you want to take another round lightly and sprinkle lemon pepper on it just to give it that finish kick of lemon pepper. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I call that lemon pepper. It. And the reason why I say lemon pepper is because you can use that for whatever. That same seasoning technique you can use for whatever you want to season with lemon pepper. Uh, a lot of people just take lemon pepper and just use it straight like that. But um, I, over the years, garlic, salt, and black pepper has worked wonders for me on frying chicken, on a lot of things. Um, and that's one of my um, secrets, one of my trademarks that I've carried with me for over the years. And of course, I've learned that from somewhere else. So to give credit due where, you know, um, I got it from, I learned that from um, frying loads and loads and loads of uh, fried chicken at the Clinton Inn in Longburn, North Carolina. And uh, you know, I, I worked there uh, pretty, pretty, pretty much on Sundays. Uh, we fed 500 plus people soul food every Sunday, and I did, I did, I did that for a couple of years. And I fried a lot of chicken. Trust me, and the recipe that they used that we used on the chicken was just garlic, garlic salt and black pepper. So when I seen the wonder that garlic salt and black pepper made for the, for the cleaning, then I kind of just took that along with me along the ways. And then I was like, um, let me try this with lemon pepper. So I took my chicken one day and I put some garlic salt and black pepper and a little bit of lemon pepper. And I was like, wow, this goes together. So I've been doing that ever since then. And it's been years I've been doing it. So that's the recipe of the day, lemon pepper it. <laughs> All right. And I'll post it up. And please forgive me to all the listeners. There are a couple of recipes lagging. And I keep up with this stuff, so it's, it's good that I keep up with it, but it's also good that I'm apologizing that I didn't post it yet. But uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, from if I'm not mistaken from episode nine, I need to uh, post um, Scott's uh, Scott's bonnet eggs from when uh, uh, Chef Femi was on, and also yeah. when okay. also I need to post um, green bean casserole. So those are two. Those are the only two recipes that I haven't posted yet. That's what, that were on previous shows. So I'm guaranteed this week I'll post the lemon pepper seasoning uh, method uh, this week, and I'll post those other two recipes as well. All right, right. fantastic, man! Shoot, I can't wait. Cannot wait. They will. They will be on the. Uh, fan page and then on the um they'll be on the group page as well if you know any artists out there that y'all love to cook um recipes up on our group page man that food uh group page y'all can check 
check it out. Just type in mute on the page. It pop right on up on Facebook. So y'all go ahead and share with the world what y'all doing with the kitchen, most definitely. So I uh, can't wait to see it start popping up and going down like that. So you have any outs or anything for anybody? P- Oh, yeah, I got some shout-outs. Yes, I do. It was just one on the top of my head. Man, I'm so back. I'm so glad to be back on the air to God be the glory. I missed y'all. I missed y'all. Y'all don't know how much I missed y'all, man. I love this, you know. <laughs> but I want to give a special shout-out to somebody that I met recently uh, since we haven't been on the air. And, man, this guy is very, very special. He's a blessing to the world. And when I say he he's blind, give his sight to the blind. Man, this brother is awesome. I talked to him on the phone the other day for over an hour, man, and we are going to record some music together. But please check out Kazani Buzzy. His music is awesome. He's um he's 28, he's 28 or 29 years old right now. He lost his sight. Uh he lost his physical sight at the age of 15. Man, and this guy goes hard for God as far as, you know, the kingdom and his music. Awesome. If you get a chance, Google it. Uh, um, you know, I, I, I would hope to hear his music on the show. I fell in love, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm in a lot of um, Christian fan clubs on Facebook, and so many pop-ups come up. Sometimes, sometimes I'm led. Just a strong, strong, strong uh, inspiration that came over me. Music pop one day, and I was like, Let's "Check this out!" So I started listening to that song going up, man. And I've been in love with the brother ever since, man. His talent is—I is, is, don't want to say unbelievable. His talent is just amazing. He's a blessing to the kingdom. He should be a blessing to anyone that hears his music, you know. And I haven't heard a song that I—I I didn't, I wasn't feeling. And I, and I'm a, I almost listen to every song that he has out there. I'm talking about every song I listen to amazes me. So shout out to Kazani, uh, Buzzy, and um, definitely, definitely, definitely is definitely, definitely look out for him and look out for us doing some things together, recording together, doing some shows together, and uh, definitely shout out to uh, Carlton Barber. Uh, I just recently um, gave him uh, the position of uh, my booking agent, and he's doing an awesome job, man. When I say he's talking to radio stations, he's put my CD out there. He's a hard worker. He, you know, Cotton Barber is a hard working. Uh, he's a song, uh, a, a singer songwriter here in the uh, Robinson County area. Um, he's a Native mm. American. He's really doing his thing. He's he's exposing me to other crowds. So now I, I'm doing shows in Lumberton, you know, I'm in front of, um, you know, Native Americans and, you know, Caucasians. And it's it's a good mix up. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just love it. You know, I just love it. And you know some good things is happening. And I'm excited. I'm excited. We're back on the air. Y'all just don't know. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Yes, yeah, so, God is moving. God is moving. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely moving. Definitely moving. And I just like to say to everybody, you know, this is one thing that I've been stressing, not stressing, but encouraging people to uh, keep their eyes open and be aware because God's timing is very, very important. God's timing is very, very important, you know, and I I, I love the life I live, you know, it could be some, I'm just going to give you all an an example. It could be something that I have to pay for that's $2,000 and I might not have $200, but it's going to get, I had that 2000. I bet you I had that $2,000. All I got to do is give to God. All I got to do is take it to the Lord. I, I need that God. I want that. You have to talk to God like he's your father. And I'm just encouraging everybody, you know, I live by faith. I run these three businesses by faith. They're, yeah, it gets hard sometimes. There's some things I need for the business. There's some things that I want to do. But I stopped myself and realized, Freddie, 
that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do, Petey. So sit back and find out what God wants you to do. And every time I sit back and watch God work, man, it just amazes me over and over and over and over again. Amen. Most definitely, man, speaking nothing but the truth. Glad to have you back. Glad to be back on the Woo. All right. <laughs> Let's get this ball. Um, Just to let y'all know, know, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday a lot of kids are out of school school, a lot of back to school um, for the first time, the 6th, that Tuesday, but tomorrow, definitely in 8.30 in the morning, if you're up, up, hey, bust out your eyes, tune in, get your laptop ready, get your, because post of the Northern Neck Radio Show will be live. Um, my guess is Mr. P- the brother has been around for a long Long, long, he's been doing music for, for whew, I'm telling you, this is definitely a brother that they, this is the Labor Day because he's been laboring and, and doing his thing a long time, man. Take it back to the old, old school type thing. I'm going to end the show with, with a song by him. Thank you. And this song here is by my brother, Mr. Sure y'all tune in tomorrow on the Orlando presents Nip. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace be with you and my love. Peace.
When you think about what he brought you through, you can just say, for all you've done, for all you did, I thank you for what you've done. I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you, Jesus. I can't help but praise you. I lift both hands. I give you glory. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. You went out of Calvary. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be hard. Like early 90s heavy metal hard. I'm yelling and screaming and I'm loud. Roar. Geico makes it easy. You can review and update your policy or report a claim on Geico.com or the Geico mobile app. Because shouldn't we all have a little less stress in our lives? I'm not even upset about anything. Go ahead, get weird with your workout. Like whacking tires with a sledgehammer weird. Like riding a stationary bike in a pool weird. Like running a race with a bunch of zombies chasing you weird. Apparently that's a thing. Get weird with your workout, but not with your protein. Always recover smart with organic fuel from Organic Valley. 26 grams of organic protein and zero weird ingredients. Get your fuel on at drinkorganicfuel.com. 